Hey, hi, it's Sharon Smith. And today I want to do some tapping and talk for just a little bit about migraines and migraine pain. Because this is something that I had. And I had migraines for a lot of years. Uh, they started when I was in my very early 20s. And I really had them for probably a good 20 years. And I tried a lot of different things, as I'm sure if you have these, you have as well. I went to doctors, and I had massages, and acupuncture, and you know, chiropractic care. I had some, and all of these things did help to a certain extent, but none of them were a permanent fix. And, you know, I wanted it to be something else. I wanted it to be you know, a vertebrae out in my neck, and, or an allergy to strawberries. I, I wanted it to be simple. It's like, okay, we'll put that back in place, and I won't eat those, and I'll be good to go. But it never quite worked that way. I, they would keep coming back. And the food triggers would shift, and so I just, I got tired of messing with it, and I didn't want to take a bunch of pills, although sometimes I did, because, you know, if you're in pain, you do what you can to get out of it. And I, I hear you. I absolutely, no judgment here. But what I found was when I discovered tapping, EFT, was that the triggers are actually emotional. And I didn't want it to be that. I assure you, I didn't. I was the last person who wanted it to turn out to be stuff like that. But it was kind of a simple thing. Now, a lot of things can hang out underneath migraine pain, but one of the big ones, and this was my big one, and what I'm going to do some work with today, and you can try it with me, was feeling pushed. That is, that's one of the big things underneath migraine pain. And it can be being pushed to do something that maybe you really don't want to do, or it can be feeling pushed by somebody else. Or, in my case, it was me pushing me. I pushed myself so hard to do so many things that that was, that was what it was. And uh, once I figured that out and started doing the work with this, and it took me a few months. And I'm not going to tell you I never had a headache again. Uh, but I haven't had a migraine in years and years and years. And anytime I get the beginnings of any kind of headache, I, which isn't often, maybe once a year, I stop because I now have great energy tools in addition to tapping. And I stop and I pay attention to what I'm feeling because it makes a difference. And I look to see... Am I feeling pushed by anybody, including me? And the answer is almost always yes. And it's usually if I'm trying to finish up a big project or I'm uh, developing some new work and I get to, you know, if I'm on deadline, I definitely can get feeling that way. And, but I now know how to stop it in his tracks. So it's, it's no longer an issue for me. So I don't know if this will work for you, but if it worked for me and it's worked for some of my clients, what could it possibly do for you? It's definitely worth exploring. Now, before we begin to tap, uh, as with all of my tapping videos, I do need you to read and agree to my disclaimer. If you will, I think you're seeing this probably on YouTube or Facebook, just look down below me and it'll say show more. And my disclaimer's right there. Now, my contact information is also there. And I would encourage you, if you want to have a chat, I'm up for a virtual coffee. We can talk about a strategy to help you get past your migraines. <laughs> because I know lots of great things to help with this. So, you can also subscribe to my website, which is down below. If you do that, you get a cool free gift that I really would encourage you to get. I don't send out a lot of spam stuff, and I don't talk to people in email very often. But the gift is you get a video that is a guided visualization that takes you in 
and you get to look at what is actually hanging out underneath your pain. You get to look at how it is, how it looks, and what emotions are attached to it. And that can be incredibly useful information just on its own. So I would encourage you to subscribe to my website. Now, the other thing is, I have, um, right now this is 2018, I have well over 40 videos out here on YouTube that are all pieces of work and they're all free. And there's something for almost everybody in every single one of these. And I know a lot of you are following me and subscribing and doing lots of my work, which is so cool. I love it. But if you subscribe to me on YouTube, every time I produce some new work, you get a little notice of it. And it's a real convenient place to keep all of my stuff. So that's my pitch. If you need to read my uh, disclaimer, just pause me for a second. And I won't start without you because this is great tapping. Welcome back. All right, so let's just start on the outside of the hand here. I have migraines, and they are so bad. And I've tried everything. But I'm open to letting go of this now. Even though I've got terrible migraines, and I've had them a long time. I completely love and accept myself. Even though I have terrible migraines, awful headaches. I completely love and accept myself. And I'm open to a new perspective on this. I know I've got a lot of triggers and I do my best to keep myself from getting triggered into a migraine. But it's really frustrating because sometimes nothing works. It doesn't matter what I do. I just know I'm going to be in pain. But what if there is really an underlying emotional trigger that I haven't considered? I allow myself to be open to the possibility that I don't like feeling pushed. and that this might be a big trigger for me. It's not just stress. It's feeling pushed. I don't like being pushed to do something I don't want to do. And I hate being pushed around by somebody else. Even if it's somebody who loves me, who has my best interest at heart, I still don't like being pushed. And sometimes I'm the one who's doing the pushing. And I didn't even know it. I have pushed myself so hard for so long and I knew I was doing it but I didn't understand that it could cause physical pain. And I'm open to a new perspective on migraine pain. Because looking at something with a new perspective can be half the battle to finding a solution. I allow myself to see that it might be 
feeling pushed. <sighs> Peace. Okay, good. Now, we're going to do another round. We're not going to stop with just that. I know how persistent migraine stuff is. We're going to go back in and actually let it go now. So just start, go back to the top of the head. I give myself permission to understand that when I'm in pain and not at my best, I am not as effective in my life. I choose to value myself enough to stop pushing. But won't I be lazy if I'm not pushing myself? It doesn't matter if I push myself into a migraine, I can't function anyway. So maybe it's safe to let go of feeling like I might be lazy. I don't think I am. I let go of the need to push myself so hard. It's perfectly safe to let it go. I choose to love and honor myself. It's safe to let go of pushing myself. And it's safe to let go of the need to push myself. And it's safe to let go of this pain. I honor the fact that I have pain in my head because I know it's here to guide me and teach me to let go of something that I'm holding on to. And I allow myself to feel safe enough to let it go now. <sighs> Peace. Okay. Now we're going to do another round for being pushed by someone else and just see if this makes a difference for you. Um, these are very common triggers. Okay, let's back to the top of the head. I don't like being pushed. And I feel like I'm being pushed. And I really don't like it, and it's giving me migraine pain. And I want him to stop pushing me. But what if this is a perception problem more than anything? What if I change my perception And remember that nobody can push me without my permission. I allow myself to be strong enough to stop giving permission to others to push me. I don't need to allow this anymore. It's safe to let it go. I get to be in charge of myself. I get to decide what I do and who pushes me and who doesn't. I allow myself to be okay with not being pushed. Feels pretty good to let go of that. I completely love and accept myself. <sighs> Peace. All right, now we're going to do one more quick round um, for feeling pushed to do something that you don't want to do. And if you've, I think you should trust your inner guidance system. So that's what the focus of this will be. It may or may not be your thing but it's certainly worth trying. So back to the top of the head. 
I feel like I'm being pushed to do something I don't want to do. I'm getting a lot of pressure to do this. And it doesn't feel right to me. It doesn't feel good to me. It's giving me a migraine. And maybe this is a thing that I actually would want to do, but just not right this red hot minute. Maybe it's a thing I want to do in my own time and not on somebody else's schedule. And maybe it's a thing I don't want to do at all. I give myself permission to really look at this because I am the most important person in my life. I value myself enough to really look at what's causing this pain. And I choose to value myself enough to listen to my inner guidance and to trust it and to trust myself and to trust that I know what's best for me no matter what because I completely love and accept myself and I honor all the ways I feel about this <sighs> peace okay that was three really good rounds uh, if any of this resonated with you Come back, try this often, shoot me a message. You may be a great candidate for some private work. I can certainly create some work specifically for what you need because you don't have to feel bad anymore. And I think everybody deserves to feel better. So I'm Sharon Smith, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye.